Good evening, everyone. Good morning, Ma'am Azu. I am Paul Sarla Arlene from TCM 1K3. And this evening, I will discuss to you about I all about Impressionism. So, next session. So, what we'll discuss this evening, evening is the history of Impressionism, its meaning, its characteristics, the Impressionists or the artists and artworks of Impressionism. So, next slide, please. So, I have a question here. Do you have, do you have an idea what is Impressionism? So, since I don't have an audience right now, Let's just move on to the history of Impressionism. So if I will read my PPT, the history of Impressionism is it is a major movement developed in France. The artists were dissatisfied early in their careers. Artists um, rejected the idea of academic painting. And it is a rebellion against conventional and academic standards and they coalesced. So, Impressionism was a radical art movement that began, began in the late 1800s, centered primarily around Parisian painters. Um, Impressionists rebelled against classical subject matter and embraced modernity, desiring to um, create works that reflected the world in which they lived. This um artist became dissatisfied early in their careers with academic teachings emphasis on um depicting a historical or mythological subject matter with literary or um anecdotal overtones. They also rejected the conventional imaginative or idealizing treatments of academic painting. So, in other words, or in vernacular language, kani ang impressionism na himo din siya ay ang history ani kay. Ang mga impressionist sa una kay nagrebelde sila sa ilang art sa una ba kay warag dili bitas sila ganahan sa ilang sa mga past art like they want something new they want something new at newly aesthetic sa ilang pananaw they don't want na di sila ganahan og standards ba they want to break that standards without that bantog naghimo sila og kanang art na magrebelde ana na mga uban na mga past era bantog na himo ang impressionism Someone as I am brief history of impressionism. So, ang next na to na topic kay ang um, ang impressionism itself. So, if basawa na ko sa kong PPT, impressionism is an art form that the style prior prioritizes emotion or experience over precise presentation. Um, at some point in the eighteen sixties, a group of young artists um decided to paint very simply what they saw thought and felt they weren't interested in um painting history mythology or the lives of great men or they didn't seek perfection in visual appearances instead as their name suggests the impressionists tried to get down on the canvas an impression of how a landscape thing or person appeared to them at a certain moment in time this often meant using much lighter and looser brushwork than painters had up until that point in painting out of doors or in plein air. So, kaning impressionism day, guys? Kay mura ni siya o kanang what you see na painting bitaw. Like, kay ang ang bottom point magod sa impressionism, kay kung unsa mo nakita outside, kay mo padag imong ipaint. Mo na siya ang impressionism. So, kanang dili sila, ang impressionist na dili sila interesado kanang bitaw mag-awat-awat o kanang Di ba, uso na sa una ka nang mag-paint o mga history, mythology, or ka mga kinabuhi sa mga kings. Ang impressionism, dili ka na. Ang impressionism, gaya mo na sila o art through sa mga landscapes, sa mga thing or person. So, if magawas ka sa inyong balay, tapos makita ka o tarak o ka nang car dana. So, if you are an impressionist, ka nang car, mo na imong, kung ma, ka nang car, mo na imuhang i-paint. Kung unsa pa ang sky na color mo, pa ang imong i-color. Mo na siyang impressionism. Kung unsa man nakita at a certain moment of time, mo pud ang imong i-paint, mo pud na yung paint and that is impressionism. So more na siya, mo na siya impressionism guys. So next, kay yang mga characteristics. So characteristics of impressionism includes quick loose brushstrokes, 
bright paintings and plein air, relative color and clear picture from um further away. So quick loose brushstrokes. The first characteristic is the quick loose brushstrokes. This is um probably the most commonly talked about the easily recognized of the impressionism art characteristics. When you zoom in on an impressionist piece, piece impressionist piece, you can see the um artist's hand with individual small and loose brushstrokes. This is because the artist often doesn't have a lot more a lot of time to complete these images. So gagamit among among impressionism of uh, impressionists a uh, quick loose brushstrokes because ang mga possibility na if ka nang imong ipinta kay nabitaw ka nang mo change bitaw siya kay for example naka sa bukid tapos gabi ka hangin tapos ang clouds kay diba chada jud ang clouds tapos nabit possibility na mo change iyang mo change ang iyang shape or iyang shape lagi sa clouds so dapat imo na siyang paspasan ang painting kay dili naman dili naman din siya may impressionism kay dili naman pod na mao imo nakita if lay na ang forma sa clouds so dapat gi gamit pag kag quick eh, quick loose brush strokes kay wala kay ample time bitaw na mahimo ang imong impressionist impressionism painting so bright paintings although colors and brightness varied by artist and at different stages during the movement in general impressionism art had a lot of brightness it's it, it is because <clears throat> sorry it is because the art movement prior to Impressionism was Realism. The artists during Realism typically used blacks, grays, and browns, which resulted in darker, more earthbound paintings. So since nagrabal man sila sa ilang mga past era, na nung mabalik man sila sa mga dark gray, sa mga blacks, grays, and browns, sa mga tones, so na din sila sa mga bright paintings, bantog ang Impressionism kay bright paintings yun na sila para sa kung paano ganiha ang background sa ako, ang meaning sa Impressionism kay di ba? bright siya, wala yung makita na dark. So, moto siya, ah, ba't ba- ba- nagagamit sila bright paintings? Because, because, simply, nagrebel sila, di sila gusto maawat sa uban era. So, gusto sila maglahi. Pabita sila. Nagar. So, Empenair. Empenair, which refers to painting outside, is the third element of Impressionism. Prior to Impressionism, paintings were typically created in a studio. Studios were regulated settings, frequently involving models and apprentices. It was um a nerd of at the time, yet the impressionist um chose to move their paintings outside. So the, the impressionist sought to preserve a moment in time as well as its mood or impression. They have to be there on the scene to accomplish it. As a result, they painted in plein air or outside. As a result, also impressionism has several landscapes and outdoor subjects. So en plein air. Monisha and Plenair kay Monisha ang um, painting refers to painting outside. So kaning and Plenair, kaning impressionism, kay dili na siya mabuhat if sa studio ka or sa yung balay mabuhat. Kay kay, kay since naman siya characteristic na Plenair, dapat sa gawas rin kaninyo mo magpainting. Because, because nagribel dili ka diba sa, sa una, tapos ang uban, ang sa una diba na era kay magmukmuk na sila sa ilang mga studio or sa ilang balay dara or sila magpainting, diba? So, since nagrebel man sila so sa may opposite sa sulod so nigawas sila mo na ang mo na idea sa entrepreneur bantog nigawas sila tapos kanang entrepreneur pod painting outside which is kanang which is painting outside so sa outside pod sa gawas sa inyong balay or anything outside dagan pod ka og mga subjects nag nagusto i paint dagan pod ka og subjects na ma-inspire sa imo ha mo na siya na entrepreneur so relative color Local color was something that impressionist artists disliked using. They painted the scene as they saw it, capturing the objects and colors in it. Um, <clears throat> the artists sought to capture items in the lighting they observed during um particular hours of the day or in particular settings. <clears throat> Since the impressionists painted in plenaire, these items didn't always have the use you would typically associate with them. Instead, they depicted how they how they appeared. Purple water is possible. The grass may be blue. An orange mountain range. We refer to this as relative color. So, kaning relative color, kagamit ang mga impressionist ani kay. Di ba what you saw na what you saw di ba na impressionist ay impressionism art. So if nakita po ka og example sunrise ka ng kuan sa sunrise ka ng painting, di ba ang ang sun kinaan na siya hue 
you na orange and red or yellow. So, if mukha na siya, musikat ang sun, di ba, if, if imo imagine ang mountain range, di ba, warag orange, bantog, bantog ang urban painting sa impressionism, kay ang mountains nila kay orange. Because, kay mamago nila nakita, mamago nakita sa mga impressionist. So, yeah, mamago nila nakita sa, sa mga impressionist. So, clear picture from further view. The closer you do impressionism art, the less clear the painting becomes and the more chaotic it gets. As you get close to the canvas, you see the artist's hand in every individual brushstroke and glob of paint, but the painting lacks detail. As you move further away from the painting, the scene, the emotion, the, the, and the details became, become um, clearer. So, mo na ta sa mga artists. Next slide, Sashay. So, we are here sa mga artist or mga impressionist. So, first up, kay si um, Edward Edward Manet. Edward Manet has risen above his detractors to prove his genuine talent that is worthy of emulation. With several paintings that have inspired young artists during that era, he um revealed how innovation is not always welcomed by um the society, but it is one's gateway to the future. Discover um the man who have lived through numerous criticisms to bring himself at the pinnacle of its success. So next is Claude Monet. <clears throat> Sorry. Claude Monet is considered to be one of the founding fathers of Impressionism or the father of Impressionism. Bold colors and unusual composition were compositions, I, I mean, were all present in Monet's paintings. Monet loved to um, paint in the open air and capture in his paintings the natural light. He was not interested in conforming to the notions of conventional art. So, next is Pierre Auguste Renoir's I Renoir. Pierre Auguste Renoir's um, fascination with human figures is what sets him apart from other impressionists, um, impressionist painters. Um, he beautifully captured the movement of light and shadow um, to create some timeless masterpieces. His works were full of life and vibrant colors, featuring well-dressed Parisian people enjoying their life. Camille Pissarro was one of the first Impressionist painters to exhibit his work in all eight Impressionist exhibi exhibitions. His canvas captured the daily life of a peasant in Paris and he was heavily influenced by politics and his paintings on the labor peasants and is an, ah, I mean, labor of peasants is an example of his art. So, next, Ashley. So, mo ni siya si Pierre Auguste Renoir and Camille Pissarro. Next, Sam. So, these are the artworks of the Impressionists way back. So, Music in the Tuneris, 1862, kay mo ni siya kang, kang Edward Manet. Manet. Impression Sunrise or Impression Soliel Levant in 1872, mo ni kang Claude Manet. At the races, 1877 to 1880, oil on canvas by Edgar Degas, Musée de Orsay, Paris. <clears throat> Next is Point Noir. In 1872, this is Pierre Auguste Renoir's Impressionist painting, Impressionism painting. Entra de Villers, the Voisins. 1872, Musée de Orsay, Paris, Monisha Kang, Camille Pissarro na painting. So, these are my references on my report. So, Monisha. That's all. Thank you for listening. I hope that you can na video.
This is Paul Cyril Arling from KCM 1K3. And I am the reporter for Impressionism Art. That's all. Thank you.